Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to remove duplicate uh, records uh, using Power Query. So I've got some employee data here with me, which is employee ID and employee name. And as you can see, uh, Daffy D uh, has joined again. So Daffy D might have left at some point in time and has joined again as employee nine. And uh, we just want to keep the and same for Sam H, where he started as employee two and then he's probably joined again as uh, employee 10. So let's say we want to keep the last instance of employee ID and employee name and remove everything else. So I'm going to show you how we can do or achieve this in Power Query. Uh, and this is just one of the ways. There could be multiple ways. And uh, so if you find a more efficient way, please do let me know, but I'll just show you my way. So let's start. So I've got the Power BI desktop here and I'll just go to uh, uh, get data from Excel and I'll just point it to sample data which is where my data sits and I will just select the sheet and you can see I've got the data so I'll just instead of loading I'll say go I'll go to edit and as you can see I've already got the data so now what I will do is uh, I will just duplicate this query and I will just I call this um, maybe um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go to the group by and I will say group by employee name and give me an And give me the maximum or the last instance of employee ID for any employee name. So that's what this essentially means. And I'll just click OK. And you can see uh, it's giving me just Daffy D9 and Sam H10. It is not giving me one and two. So you could you could probably go. What if there is other other rows here which I still want to keep? And, but I still want to filter this data out for the last employee ID. So what you could probably do is you could go merge queries and you could, so we've got, um, sheet one, sorry, we're gonna join this to remove duplicates on the basis of employee ID and we'll just do an inner join and click okay. And so you can see this is filtered out uh, the, the maximum instances. So let's go back to uh, first a step before. So you can see I've got one to 10. And once I've merged the queries using the inner join, the one and two have gone away. So let's say you've got multiple uh, columns and uh, you want to keep the other columns. You could probably do a merge uh, on, on the group data. So just one of the ways and uh, you could Click close and apply, but both of these uh, queries will become available in Power BI. You could hide one of the tables. In this case, remove duplicates. So what I'm essentially going to do is remove this though for now. And so I've got the data, which is pretty much uh, a removal of the duplicates in uh, Power BI or Power Query. So I hope you find this video useful and it just does give you one uh, a more mental model of uh, how to remove duplicates in uh, Power BI or Power Query. And you can uh, use this with the Excel version as well. So I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe to my channel and like this video if you enjoyed what I've done. And yeah, I'm open to feedbacks. Do leave some feedback um, if there's a better way or you think there's something else you would like me to take up. Um, and thanks a lot.